Hi there, welcome to the Automatic Relations Tutorial from MA77 Design, hope you're well. Um, basically a very quick overview of what Automatic Relations are. Um, automatic Relations uh, are the relations that are added as we sketch by SOLIDWORKS. Um, you can manually add geometric relations, however SOLIDWORKS likes to help us out by adding them automatically, hence automatic relations. Um, some of the most common ones are things like parallel and perpendicular, um, collinear as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that all the little things that SOLIDWORKS does and brings up, what they are and how it helps us. So as you can see we have our part open here and I'm going to uh, click the line tool and we can select any plane, I'll just select the front plane and for normal to, and I'm just going to click a line but before I click a line we can already see that SOLIDWORKS is helping us out as you know, or as you should know, the origin is the centre point it is where x, y and z on the triad equals zero so you can see that here we are horizontal to the x line of the origin and here we are vertical to the y line of the origin uh, okay so you can already see that SOLIDWORKS is starting to help us out I don't want to actually create a line on the horizontal or vertical I just want to click and drag it out with no interference from any relations so then I will click OK and as you know SOLIDWORKS creates chain of lines and if I drag it out it's already starting to say well look this second line is going to be perpendicular to the first line it will always add links to the last driv uh, sorry to the last drawn uh, sketch piece so I'm going to click OK well yeah I want that to be perpendicular and then I'm going to pull out again and it's saying well look if you keep on going in the same direction this line is going to be collinear OK, so I'm going to click OK on that. And you can see that SOLIDWORKS throws a little green symbol showing what relation it's added. So then I'm going to pull out again, and then I'm going to just go down so it's vertical. And it's saying, look, this is going to be vertical. And I'm saying, right, OK, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click it out and say I want a horizontal line. So we'll click there. And then what we can do is SOLIDWORKS will offer some uh, some help in terms of positioning the lines. So I've moved it up and we can see that SOLIDWORKS is saying that I am going to be uh, parallel to this line here if I keep on going like that. It's thrown up the yellow parallel symbol and it's also highlighted the line to which I would be parallel to. And it's also saying that I am uh, going to be perpendicular to one of the endpoints. I can lift it up and you can start to see that SOLIDWORKS is snapping to all the varying different um, endpoints, midpoints um, and geometric relations. So I'm just going to say look I want to select that endpoint and I'm going to close the sketch. So we can see that SOLIDWORKS is already offering us a lot of help what I'm now going to show you is how to add some tangencies. We first select a circle and we just click and drag it out. Now while the circle is still highlighted as the last drawn entity, I'm just going to select the line tool and I'm just going to click on the circle. We can see that it, we're going to be clicking on the circle as the coincident symbol and the fact that the circle's gone orange and I'm just going to click and I will pull out and we can see that it is at the point of the circle so at this point it's going to be uh, perpendicular to the circle's edge and if I go here it's going to be tangent to the circle's edge so I'm going to do this one which is perpendicular and then I'm just going to click the, uh, click the line tool again and then I'm going to just click on the circle and if you pull out you can see that the line is automatically creating a tangent relation well SOLIDWORKS is putting that in for me so we can see that anywhere I click it's going to make it tangent which is brilliant 
then if I click on the line for the third time and then click you can see it's starting to do another tangent relation however if we go near the circle which I actually just done we can then change it to be perpendicular or at a tangent on an angle so I'm just going to create another perpendicular constraint okay so there we go we have a very brief overview of the automatic relations that SOLIDWORKS adds in for us uh, this is very basic and uh, a very brief overview and we will be going uh, into uh, more advanced relations uh, a little bit later on uh, if you have any comments feel free to pop them in the box below and don't forget that you can follow us and like us on facebook and twitter and you can also find the uh, links for that just below the video uh, take care and i will see you soon